So the number one thing is to become technically literate. It's if you're going to be in tech and everything is going to be in tech. So even if you're not in tech, if you're building a bakery, you're going to be in tech. <laughs> so yeah. in the next two years, like you're going to be in tech. So no matter what, where you are, no matter what type of business you're running, you need to understand technology. You need to stop saying, but I'm not a technical person right? Like you need to speak the language. Again, you don't need to learn how to code. You don't need to dive deep into tech, but I want you to understand the basics. I want you to understand how things in the back end fit together. What are like all the buzzwords, APIs and databases, and what, what are different things used for so that you can have an understanding when you're talking to a technical person, whether they're giving you good advice, are they, um, BSing you, right? Like sometimes when yeah. you hear fancy terms, you're like, oh, this person knows what they're talking about. But in fact, they're like, they just have no clue. They're just using fancy words. Um, words yeah. yeah. I did an interview yesterday for a developer who knew how to speak like nobody else. And then we started asking them technical questions and he, he could barely answer the basics of the technical questions, right? So yeah. people who know how to talk, you need to be able to dig a little bit deeper to be able to uh, understand do they uh, know what they're talking about uh, truly? And then, so the first thing is technical technical literacy. Then you need to have a roadmap. You need to understand what process you can use to manage the team, to communicate with them, set the right expectations. And finally, you need to be able to have um, the confidence to manage and lead. Because right. if you don't have the confidence, you could have, uh, if you're not able to step in and actually get involved and and be the heavy if you need to, right? Uh, you, it's not going to work. Um, and then at the end of the day, you will still need to have technical advisors, maybe a fractional CTO that you can tap into. Because like I said, let's say you found a talker who just talks a good game, but is not actually technical. If you uh, do the interview, you find good people and then have hire someone, either a fractional CTO or even an advisor, right? Say, hey, can you interview this person? Can you talk to them? Ask them a few technical questions to assess their technical skill set. Then you'll be, you'll have a lot more confidence that, hey, they're not just only a good talker, but they also have the skills to be able to back that up. Uh, so that's really important. Um, those are the, if you have all those four things, you should be set.